Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a ton, and I mean a ton. I'm going to share a ton of my Empty Beauty products. So I've been collecting my empties for a while, mainly because a lot of times with empties, you end up with a lot of products that are skincare. And for me, I think a lot of people don't necessarily want to hear about skincare. So I just continued to collect until I also had some makeup products mixed in. So I have so many empties. I'm determined to go through this pile and to be able to throw away my trash because that's what this is, it's trash and it's been lingering, okay? So let's get started. All right, I have a couple of these. Uh, this is the Ola Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. And until I purchase the toner that I have by The Ordinary that is really good for smoothing your skin and getting rid of texture, I've been using that one lately. But until I purchased that one, this was the toner that I used. So if you have more acne prone skin, this is a really good one for acne prone or if you're just oily. But it has salicylic acid in it and green tea fusion complex, neem seed oil, just a lot of good things for your skin. I really did enjoy this. It is very refreshing when you apply it to the skin. It is an awesome toner. I went through two of these right here. Body cream, I have a few here that I've gone through. I would definitely recommend them. This is the Smoothie Lightly Whipped Body Butter Cream. The smell of this is just my favorite. I have another one right now that is almost empty that I'm using and I have a backup. This is one I don't want to run out of. It is by Soap and Glory. I purchased this at Ulta. This is the Ritual of Secura and this one smells like, I think it was like maybe cherry blossom. Ooh. <coughs> and there's a little bit on the lid here. Hold up. Let's not put you in the trash yet. Let's get this off the lid. <laughs> This also was something I purchased from Ulta. If you purchase this or you purchase something from this brand, you got a free body wash. I purchased this one and it says Magic Touch Body Cream and it is so good. It smells like it is organic rice milk and cherry blossom. So it smells amazing and it was so, so good. I haven't repurchased it because I have a lot of body creams that I'm using, but this was amazing. I highly recommend it. This is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. It's been in my favorites a couple of different months recently and it is really really good and of the three of these it's the most affordable I think it's less than ten dollars for this so if you have a Trader Joe's near you this coconut body butter is outstanding it's so good also by Ola Henriksen is the clean truth foaming cleanser it's an amazing cleanser and makeup remover. It is a very gentle makeup remover, but it does work to remove makeup. It has a citrus scent and it is so great for brightening the skin and waking up the skin first thing in the morning. I have already repurchased this. I highly recommend this one. And um, if you're curious, like this is my, um, I meant to say something about this guys, a couple of things. This is my natural hair and I just filmed a video using another product, this um, IGK Good Behavior to straighten my hair. I recently cut my hair and it's a terrible haircut so I just decided to put my hair in this slick ponytail but if you want to find out about this product you may want to check that video out. I'm not sure which one of these videos is going up first. Also check out my Detroit t-shirt. I was just in Detroit on business. I was kind of putting a lot of things on my snapchat story about my visit to Detroit. I had a really good time, went to the Motown Museum, rode the people mover. It's like a moving train in the city. Had a good time, it was awesome. And I could see Canada. So moving right along, here we go. This looks terrible. You know, empties always look yucky. But this is Origins Essence Lotions. That's what this one is. And this is like a serum by Origins. Both very good. And for a long time, I only used the Origins skincare for a while. But I've been adding on other skincare. I will definitely repurchase this essence. It's much more affordable than any other brand of essence that I have. So a lot of times I will buy this one and then I'll alternate 
between this one and the more expensive brands so I definitely will repurchase this one I'm not so sure about this I have always used it and always enjoyed it but I'm just using so many other skincare products that I may or may not buy it again I would recommend it and would buy it again but I'm not sure when I'll buy it again I think I'll buy this essence before I will buy the serum I think the serum is much more expensive so it is really good but I'm just not sure if or when I'll buy it again. This is a Neutrogena Deep Clean Normal to Oily Skin Facial Cleanser. It doesn't come out foamy. It foams up as you work in the lather. It's a really good cleanser. I don't recall it being that good at removing makeup, but it is good for cleaning the skin and I do recommend it. I didn't repurchase it because I have so many other cleansers right now, but I would buy this again, especially if I am low on coins. I will navigate to my drugstore brands whenever I don't want to spend a lot of money on skincare yes I will mm -hmm. Clinique take the day off I have already repurchased this it is really really good for removing makeup I currently use one by pharmacy and I can't decide which I like better the one thing about the pharmacy brand is I feel like it kind of clouds my eyes if it gets in my eye it kind of leaves this haze and it takes a while for me to rinse it out of my eye where this doesn't do that at all and this one is less expensive and you get more you get 3.8 ounces so this cleansing balm is still one of those kind of tried and true that you can count on it's by Clinique really really good I have already repurchased it I have it over here in my drawer some more Ola Henriksen or Ola Henriksen this came with the truth serum this came with a set but this one is the night gel and this is the sheer transformation perfecting moisturizer I think these are really good for my combo to oily skin because it's really really lightweight so I use this at night along with this moisturizer and then in the morning I use the truth serum which has like more vitamin C in it along with this moisturizer and it is really good I have already repurchased it and I am currently using that in my skincare routine I don't know what happened to the true serum that looks just like this except it's orange but I emptied that as well so I definitely recommend it if you're interested in these products to purchase it in that set it is more cost effective you get three products for I think maybe $72 awesome skincare love it. another product from origins this is their energy boosting gel moisturizer it is so so good again great for combo to oily skin because it is a gel it is not gonna be too heavy or anything like that it is affordable in my opinion compared to some other brands that are at your department stores and at Sephora and I really did enjoy this I have gone through several of these since discovering it and I would repurchase it again I don't have one right now because I'm using my Ola Henriksen products but I definitely would buy this again and it is the origins ginseng okay it's a moisturizer okay let's do a few um, makeup products so this is the cover FX um, perfect setting powder and this was the very first one that I purchased and I would repurchase it again and I have repurchased it however um, I purchased this one through the Ulta 21 days of beauty and I got it 50% off not this particular one but when I replaced it I purchased it for 50% off I really do like this powder it is a very smooth setting powder however now that you have the Fenty and I've discovered the Huda powder and of course Laura Mercier it's not necessarily my favorite setting powder anymore I can't say that I would rush out and buy it at regular price it's not one of those staple pieces that I have to have anymore there's just too many others out there that are better than this one but it is a good setting powder it has the little um, lid that flips out that kind of keeps your product in there this one is translucent light so I do like it I would rebuy it but probably when it's on sale this is my Laura Mercier translucent powder do I even need to say whether I would buy this again? Of course, I would repurchase it. I have already replaced it. I will always keep this in my stash. I actually used the Laura Mercier to set in my concealer areas today. I love this powder. It is a tried and true ride or die powder, just like for everyone else. I love it. Okay, let's talk about a foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Y445 is the shade. This is Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Forever, this was my favorite foundation. Whenever I 
filmed or if I was going somewhere special and I knew I was going to be taking pictures, this was the foundation that I would reach for. Even now, like whenever I go back to it, if I wear it on camera, I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. Like there's so many others that I love now, but this is just one of those foundations that when I go back to it, I'm just always in love with it again. And it's also one that is like a perfect match on my skin. This is awesome foundation, especially for video and pictures. That's the Ultra HD component of this. And it is a very natural looking foundation. It doesn't look heavy or cakey and look like you have a lot of makeup on whenever you wear this. I have already repurchased this foundation and I just pray that it always is around and I'm always able to keep it in my collection. Um, hair care really quickly. This is the Mazzani True Texture Curls, Coils, Wavy Style. Sometimes they change the name of the product from time to time. But this is basically like a curling pudding. But this is the Mazzani True Textures. I have repurchased it. I use it on my natural curly hair. It is really, really good. I've been using this for years, so I really, really love it and will continue to buy it. This is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco Day to Night Hair and Scalp Conditioner. My favorite part about this line is the smell. It has this almost baby powder fragrance. It's like a whole line of products that look like this and they have this baby powder fragrance and so your hair just always smells so so good. I like it on my natural curly hair but I wouldn't use it on my hair when I straighten it because it's kind of heavy for my hair. It's not heavy for everybody else but it's heavy for my hair so I do really like this scalp oil and I would rebuy it again. I didn't repurchase it this time around. I bought some other brands but I would definitely recommend this and rebuy it for my natural curly hair. We are getting through the trash. We are getting through the trash. This is the um, Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. And, hmm, guys, I have like mixed feelings about this. Lately, it just doesn't work as well for me. And I might go back to the original all nighter spray and see how I feel about that one but for some reason like neither one of them have worked as well it's like I flipped I used to love this product and I always wanted to use this particular setting spray a lot of people do but then I started using the Kat Von D setting spray and I started really liking that one but at first I didn't like it suddenly my skin started really liking the Kat Von D setting spray I have one of these right now that I got during Ulta's 21 days of beauty and I got it for 50% off. So in a situation like that, I would purchase it. My daughter still swears by this one, but I can't say for sure that I will intentionally buy it again because I really just like the Kat Von D spray. I also like the Gerard Cosmetics setting spray. That one is like so powerful. It's so good. So uh, I don't have to have this one anymore. I just don't. I know I'm weird, but I don't have to have it. Okay, also another great setting spray is this one by Morphe. This one says Prep and Set. I think they have changed the name since I emptied this one. Continuous Setting Spray or something like that, maybe what it's called. So this was like the original one. It is really, really good setting spray. And I did repurchase this after I emptied this one. And now that they have it in Ulta, it is so awesome because I don't have to order it and pay for shipping costs. I can just go to Ulta and pick it up, which is what I did. So I do recommend this. It is so awesome. And I actually use it sparingly because I want it to last so long because it's an aerosol. I'm like, this is going to be gone like that. So I try to use it sparingly and not use it all the time. This is a weird product, but I just thought I would tell you guys about this weird product. In case there are some athletes who watch my channel or people like me who are aging and have a little bit of arthritis or anything like that, this is veterinary liniment gel. And you can get it at like a tractor supply store. It's so weird, but it's like a tractor supply store or online on Amazon. And it is a spearmint herbal gel. And I'm not even sure if they use this on animals. It's got a picture of a horse. I'm not sure. I just know that a lot of members of my family started using this on their aches and pains and joints and rubbing it in. And it's almost like an icy hot. And I've been using this and I've emptied this one and I had a little tube that I emptied that I don't think I have here. And I have repurchased it. I like to use it on my knee. I used to be a cheerleader and I have like some cheerleader injuries and I like using this product on my knee. And I have emptied it and I would buy it again. But I just thought I'd tell you 
guys in case there's anybody like me that has some little old folk injuries that they want to take care of. <laughs> Let's see if I can go fast. This is not empty. Why is this in here? <gasps> oh my God, this is not empty. This is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. And this was a treatment that came with it. And there's still some in here, but somehow it made it into my empties and I have no idea why. So I will definitely um, keep the treatment the facial treatment here but this is an essence and the set costs like 99 dollars. i really like this essence and i would buy it again but i haven't purchased it again because it's so expensive and i moved on to the shiseido essence which is also very high end and feels really good and it actually had higher ratings on sephora's website this is the dior skin forever they don't make this anymore you guys remember it was like my favorite foundation and i actually wore it in a recent video just because i have one bottle left and i use it sparingly and I thought oh my skin looks so good and every time that I say that this is the foundation that I'm wearing I'm like what foundation did I have on I went back and look it was Dior skin and they don't make it anymore so they did like come out with two new foundations so I would recommend maybe checking those out if you're interested in the Dior foundation line but I really love this forever and ever and ever but they don't make it anymore and it is really good and this one was the shade 045 just for your reference but they don't make it anymore and this is the fit me Maybelline fit me in 330 I have one that I'm using and I think I even have a backup of it so when I first discovered the Maybelline fit me I went crazy because the price was so low and I bought like extras because I was so blown away by how good this foundation looks and how well it wears so I definitely recommend this Maybelline fit me if you have not tried this very affordable like five dollar foundation it's actually um this is 330 toffee caramel is the name of the shade another foundation is the charlotte tilbury magic foundation in 9.5 again this is another one that makes my skin look amazing whenever i wear it and i have already repurchased it it's not one i hear a lot of people talking about but it is magic i think it has skincare in it i always say that it has like spf 15 in it but it has a little bit of skincare i believe it doesn't say it on the bottle but i think it has some skincare components and so my skin just looks great whenever i wear this magic foundation so definitely recommend it and have repurchased it would buy it again over and over again here is another all-nighter spray in the travel size and you guys remember what i already said about it <sighs> can we just keep going even though the dogs are outside barking can we just keep going because I'm almost at the end, guys. Okay, this is a body lotion by Lush that my daughter got me. And it says Sleepy Body Lotion. And I feel like this has a lavender smell, if I'm not mistaken. It smells so good. And because it says Sleepy, I would just kind of rub it on my hands right before I went to bed. Because that lavender is supposed to relax you and help get you ready for bed. And I would repurchase this again. I don't know where she bought it. Because it was a gift, I just haven't looked for it. But I would buy it again. I do like it a lot. And it's by Lush. I really like this. And I probably should like take a picture of it so I don't forget what it was called. This is Skin Volve, I think. And it was sent to me in a Beautycon box. That's how old this was. <laughs> um, because Beautycon doesn't make boxes anymore. But it's a body karate or body carrot cream. It's spelled like karate, but I don't know what it is um it says caffeine plus argan oil hydrate tone and smooth so it's supposed to improve the texture of your skin it's paraben free and sulfate free and i really enjoyed this moisturizer i really did and i would buy this individually so before i trash this one i am gonna like take a snapshot of it so i don't forget about it and maybe or it is karate it says body karate cream because there's a little karate person right there so it is karate and um, it was really good cream. I don't know that I could see a big difference as far as the tone of my skin or anything like that. But I just liked how it felt going on my skin. It was a really clean smell. It didn't have a really um, potent fragrance or anything like that. I just really enjoyed it. And so it was in my Beautycon box, but I would buy this separately. I emptied this Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. I do love the Drunk Elephant design. 
because it's just really travel friendly and it's easy to keep your product from spilling everywhere. I think that this was good, but I don't have any like strong memories of what I liked about it. It was actually a gratis product. I didn't purchase this, it was given to me. From what I can recall, I liked the product, but I'm not really drawn to Drunk Elephant for some reason, at least not right now. It's pretty pricey. <laughs> we all know it's expensive and I think it's good. I just don't find myself wanting to buy the products all the time, but I will use them if it's a point perk or if somebody gives it to me as gratis, I'll use it and I do enjoy it. So this was like, I guess, a hydration gel. I liked it, but I don't really have any plans of buying it. <laughs> These little babies right here. These are my Laneige lip sleeping masks. I love these. I will continue to buy them forever and ever. I have repurchased them. I got like a little gift set during the holidays and that's what I'm working on right now. But I would continue to buy these. These are awesome for applying to your lips when you are sleeping. Love these. This is the Paracone MD Highly Potency Classic face finishing and firming moisturizer. This was sent to me to review by Influencer, and I remember that it made it into my favorites. I really did like how my skin felt. I think that I would have to have used it longer to really be able to tell if it was firming or not. But it was a good moisturizer. As I can recall, I applied this at night because I think it was a little bit heavy for me to apply during the day. So I applied it at night and it was good. I do recommend it, but I have other products that I like better for my nighttime regimen. So I don't think I'll buy this, but it was good during the time that I used it. Some other nighttime products, Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. And I have repurchased this one in like a smaller size, like a gift set size. And I would repurchase this again. It is so, so good. For some reason, I want to think it has hyaluronic acid in it. It says glowing and radiant. So it's good for a glowy, radiant skin. But I also think it really helps firm my skin. I just know that when I apply it at night, that I wake up with beautiful skin. So this combined with my Pharmacy Sleep Tight, and this definitely firms your skin overnight. So when you wake up in the morning, your skin is gonna look firmer, but by the time you go to bed again, it may not look as firm. So it just seems to be more of a temporary firmness, like there are products in here that seem to firm your skin really quickly, so you look better when you wake up in the morning. So I like to use these two together. I have already repurchased them, so love them. Continuing on, we're at the end, we're getting to the end, guys. Hang in there with me, hang in there. Okay, Karenique, I talked about this in a favorites a long time ago, can't remember which one, but it was a favorite. And this is the Lift and Repair Treatment, and this is the Hair Regrowth Treatment for Women. I'm not sure if it was from wig wearing or just stress or what it was, but my hair started to thin right here. Hopefully it's not so bad now. Hopefully it's not too bad, <laughs> but it was thin right here. I'd heard about this set from my mom, so I purchased it and it had like a shampoo and conditioner with it as well as these products. And this is the main ingredient I think that really helps the hair to grow back. And I started using it and my hair grew back right there where it was thinning. Now it may look a little bit not so pretty today, but it's better. <laughs> it does help regrow hair so if you have any like thinning areas where your hair is just thin a little bit your edges need a little tension then maybe give this a try okay and I purchased this at Ulta okay these are liners here this is the it cosmetics no tug waterproof anti-aging gel liner and I really enjoyed this gel liner for so so long and I haven't repurchased it because I had other liners. I would repurchase this again. I really liked it. It had the re it was a retractable gel liner. It has a sharpener on it too. This was my favorite gel liner for a while and it lasted a long time. I got it 50% off at Ulta during one of their 21 days of beauties. But it was a really good gel liner and I would buy it again. The It Cosmetics No Tug gel liner. 
This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso, and I used to love this. It has more of a waxy finish, but that's okay. Kind of has that slick look, so if you want a more natural brow, you might use what I'm, I have on, like the Anastasia today. It's a more natural look, but if you don't really care about that, you can save a little bit of money and buy this one from NYX, and I would definitely repurchase this. I don't think I have any in my stash right now, so I actually need to go repurchase this. It has the pencil on one end and the spoolie on the other, and it is a good one. This is the Collab Beauty The Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. And I purchased this, I got sucked in because Tati talked about it, and it looks like this. The wand um, looks like this. It's kind of a rubber wand. And I did enjoy it while I used it. This one is like a brown black, a black brown. I meant to pick up black. So I think I want to try it again one more time in black. I liked it, but I can't say it was the best mascara I've ever used. She went on and on about it. So I did like it. I would recommend it if you're looking for an affordable mascara. You can get it at Sally's Beauty. At some point, I may go back into Sally's when I'm in there and pick up the one in black and just give it a try. So I do recommend it, but it's just like, okay. I don't know what to say about it. I like it. You guys know what I'm saying. Moving on. I'm at the end, guys. Really, really, I am. I know I keep saying that, but I'm at the end. This is House of Lashes Dark Black like Lash Glue. It is the one that I currently use to apply my lashes, and let me tell you why. My absolute favorite lash glue is by Huda Beauty, and it probably should be over here in the empties, too. It emptied at some point, but... Um, you have to order that online and you have to pay shipping and so I haven't purchased it because I don't want to pay for shipping but I love that lash glue it is my favorite okay it is really quick drying and I love that one but this is my second favorite it is really easy to remove your lashes once you use this one and it does hold them and it's not uncomfortable it doesn't pull the hair out of my actual lashes whenever I remove the lash so House of Lashes lash glue is a really good one if you are in the market for a lash glue um, I got these in a set I think this is Estee Lauder resilience lift this is the firming sculpting eye cream right here and this is the face and neck cream and I think I got them as a part of a gift set at first I got them in a gift set and I did repurchase them because I enjoyed them so much so this was just a really nice night cream I felt like I was doing something good for my skin I felt like my skin was in good condition while I was using it the only thing about this it is really fragrant so just expect it to blow you out of the water as far as the fragrance goes but it is really good so these they're expensive too they are a little pricey but these are good night creams for your eye and your face and your neck. This is an Origins Super Spot Remover. I use this whenever I get a pimple. I'll place it on my pimple overnight and it will reduce the size of the pimple. And I also use it during the day. So you, it has like a clear, it's a clear product. So you can pop it on your little, you can put it on your spot anywhere you're trying to get rid of. And you can actually apply makeup on top of it because it's clear. And it is a pretty affordable one compared to other ones at Sephora. So I do like the price of it. And I have already repurchased it. It takes a long time to empty this unless you have a lot of pimples. Because I don't get that many, it takes a long time to empty this little thing. But it is really helpful to have. This is by Origins. It's good. This is a fresh rose mask. When you spend a certain amount at Sephora, they will sometimes give you things like this. And that's how I think I got this. And it is infused with real rose petals. And I actually really love this mask. And oh, there's a little corner left. You can see how that's the color of it. And it is just like a really hydrating mask. When you take this off, your skin feels so moist and plump and juicy and hydrated. This is all I have left. <laughs> this is the Tatcha the Deep Polish Rice Enzyme Powder and I haven't repurchased this and I really should because I like this as an exfoliator. It is so good for exfoliating the skin and it is so gentle because it's like a rice powder. If I'm not mistaken, it kind of smells like rice baby food. I can't remember, but I feel like that's what it reminded me of. 
and you just rub it in the skin wet and it is very gentle at, at exfoliating the skin so if you follow with like that refreshing toner that i like by ola henriksen it just feels so magnificent your skin just feels so refreshed there was a set that's why this one is so small and so i'd probably repurchase it in the set it took a long time for this to empty i haven't repurchased it yet again because tatcha is so pricey and i have so many skincare products right now but i definitely want to buy it again this is the farsali unicorn essence for some reason i i don't even know why we all love this it says it's an essence it's one of those weird products but we all use it as a primer this is the mini i've already repurchased it i definitely recommend it and I don't know what it is about it. I just feel like I have really good makeup days whenever I use it. I don't normally use this by itself. I usually use some other primer with it, like at least in my um, T-zone area over my pores or something like that. But it is a really good um, product to put on to prep the skin before makeup. And I can't explain why, but I have already bought it again. <laughs> Who knows how long this video will be? this is the lip maximizer by dior i have emptied this one and i actually have another one that is on empty already and it's like a lip plumping lip gloss and it's kind of clear but i love this on my lips so i have almost emptied another one and i have a, another one on standby so i've purchased this three times that tells you how much i love it this is the ColourPop and Shayla collab. This was Neat Freak. It was Neat Freak. And I really do like this lip gloss. When I do purchase again from ColourPop, because I don't buy from ColourPop that often, because I don't know why. I just don't buy that often from them. And when I do buy, I try to buy enough. I think you have to buy so much to get the free shipping. So that's why I don't repurchase a lot because I'm not gonna go on the website and just buy this one lip gloss and have to pay for the shipping for it. So I wait until I have a larger order to repurchase at ColourPop. But the next time I do go to ColourPop's website and buy something, I'll be sure to pick this up because it is a very good lip gloss. And this is my Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. And it is one of those staple pieces that I have to have in my collection. I do have another one that is almost empty and I just repurchased it as well. So I think that makes three total that I have bought of this Sugar Sugar Marc Jacobs lip gloss. <gasps> Finally. Yay, my bag is empty. That's all of my empties that I think I have. Sometimes, you know, I don't um, add them to the bag. I may forget and throw things away. But for the most part, those are the products that I have emptied. Probably over the last year, I've been collecting some of these products. I'm sure it's been a year. A lot of products that I emptied, I have already re-upped on. Some I wish I could because I love them, but they were expensive. And some I don't really care if I buy them again or not. But I hope that this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions about any of the products, if there's something that I failed to mention and you want to know some more, then make sure you leave those questions down below and I will respond. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up that really helps me out and if you've not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave so i'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video it will not be in empties because i have to start collecting all over again so until the next time we meet again this is savvy signing out i just look like a whole different person when my hair is back it's just amazing to me i kind of like it do you guys like it let me know i hope my part wasn't crooked it's all right